Hello and welcome to day four of my 10 albums in 10 days, a series where I talk about 10 albums that had a huge influence on me. And for day four, as I said yesterday, we have more Stephen Wilson with The Raven That Refused to Sing. I think, I'm pretty sure this album has the record time for me of the fastest I fell in love with the band. Because I'm fairly certain that track number one on this album is the first thing I heard from Steven Wilson. And it took like 10 seconds for me to love this man. And, you know, obviously, you know, Steven with million side projects that I all, that I, you know, got into. Um, also, you can't, also the first time I heard Marco Miniman which like Gavin is a is a fucking monster on the kit. I mean my god, those two honestly I don't even know which one I like more. But yeah, the Raven is just sing. This is an amazing album. Also a very sad one. Like the last the title track is if you see the music video, it's it's something else, man. That dude make some sad music that's just just steven wilson in a nutshell sad ass music i don't even know what else to say it's just his whole group that he got on this album you know obviously like i mentioned earlier marco miniman also you have guthrie govin which those two are on a whole another plane of existence um then you got i don't know their names the piano dude the guy on the piano is fucking incredible too but yeah Basically, the moral of the story is this is the fastest I love the song. Like, straight up, go listen to the first track, Luminal, and tell me within like 30 seconds you're not grooving the shit out of it. But that's it for today. Tune in tomorrow when I have yet another album, because we're not even halfway done, baby. So, till then, take care.